Hey YouTube, <clears throat> welcome back uh, today. Our first series, uh, we have a series today uh, to to design a key value store in uh, a new system design series, basically. So basically, um, what is a key value store? Uh, a key value store is um, also also referred as a a key value database. It's uh, a non-relational database. Each unique uh, identifier is sorted as a key. So. Uh, and let's just see an example here so basically we have here each key and each key is a unique identifier and each key um, uh, represents a uh, value it's two uh, value pairs actually and um, to access the value which we can access the value by um, by the key um, in, in the key value pair the key must be unique as you can see here and the value uh, associated with the key can be just it's not just um, a string it can be a number it can be object it can be array or like lists like there is um endless things of of, of, of possibility not endless basically just not, no not endless maybe like um, uh, strings numbers can be can be uh other functions can be can be multiple things but like yeah th that's it and um the the key can be two things it can be maybe like a, a, a string or like um a hash key like uh, let's just give an example of a hash key um let's just say like two three five uh, dde if uh, something like that it's this is the hash key or can be just a number or be plain string also like uh, just maybe plain string for like uh, created uh, eight for example um, the value in the key, uh, the key, the, the the value in the key can be string lists object as we said before. The value is usually treated as a, a page object in in the key value stores. And we see this example that just till that each key is quite unique. The value has each we each key uh, has a value, and we can access is the value by the key. So right now, if you we, we know what is a key value store, and um, to 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 after after we understand what is a key value store, we start to to start f first and uh, in, in our in our in our um, first uh, uh, task in 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 design a key value store, and as we say all the time, we have our famous framework. The first we try to understand the problem and the requirements. Second, second we propose a high level design. Mainly we will talk about the cap theorem. The cap theorem we'll talk about it next video. After that, we talk, we take a deep dive. We talk about all the system components in the deep dive actually, and after that, we wrap up. So we talk about in the wrap up. We just uh, go through high level of uh, each one of these three steps. And um, let's just start today with this one. Give it a color. Just make it green. So today we will understand the problem and the requirements. And before going into uh, the, 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 the design, I should say something that we should put in, in minds all the time that there is no perfect design. Each design achieves a specific balance regarding uh, the trade off. Um, like we have the read, the write, maybe like w the system would be uh, uh, read first, it would be write first. What is more important, the memory usage, another trade off. We will talk about it uh, a lot next uh, episode. In the, the different that the, is made between the consistency and the availability uh, and uh, in this series we will um, we will start actually in, in, in designing the the key value pair and we will design first by asking the questions so let's just uh, put this one here and I want to be white and the thickness I don't want to be so thick and let us ask questions and let's say first okay as we said all the time in the question we need to ask from five to four questions i guess for this one we'll ask only yeah, i guess maybe like uh, maybe three questions or four questions because uh, design a key value so there is not a lot of things to ask about but let's just apply first of all i say that what uh, size of what size of um of 
is the uh, what is the size? What is the size? What size? <laughs> what is the size of the key value store? And we will say let's just put the answer in in different color. Let's put it in yeah in this color. It will be uh, let's say uh, uh, the size uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me just, yeah, okay, and let's just take this one. Okay, uh, the size, it, I guess the size it will be um, um, less than uh, 10 kilobytes. Let's ask another question. We'll say, um, should, the, should the database has the ability to store data? I guess, no, this is a pretty silly question. Of course, yes. Um, um this is one the, the, the this is one of the most important thing do we prefer our data to be uh, available or to to be con system consistent or all to be how can I write consistency consistent then see maybe uh -huh. I don't know uh, to be consistent uh, consistent I'm pretty bad at pronunciation consistent okay this is right um, I guess that it will be the answer for this one. It will be uh, oh, it's not right. Okay, I will, I will, I will try to make it. I right, next episode. Uh, consistent, consistent. Yeah, consistent. Uh, I will say the other question. It will be: uh, Should we design the key value pair to support large data set? Yeah, oh, sorry, I, did, I, did, I didn't answer this question even. Sorry, it will be, um, we will care about the availability. And the other question that it will be, um, let's say that, should we design the key value store to support large data set? Uh, should we, Design the uh, the key value store to support sub support large data set, and I guess the answer for this one it will be absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we'll talk about distributed system in this one. And let's just continue. We'll see. Um, should we care about the latency? For example, or doesn't, doesn't we care? Should we care about the latency? About the latency and basically yes and I guess but maybe like we ask about like one two three four questions and I guess by these four questions I guess it's more than enough for us to understand the requirements let me just put the key value store here and let me just take this one here no, 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 no. Okay. 
So right now we have, I guess that with this, with this answering all of these questions, I guess that we can go with the functional requirements and non-functional requirements. I guess most of the thing is it will be in, in the non-functional requirements because there is not that much of functional. Uh -huh. Let me put this one here. And, uh, okay. And let's just put the functional requirements. I will say uh, functional requirements. I guess the functional requirements it will be uh, require. I guess the functional requirements will be pretty straightforward here. There's not not a lot of things that we should care about. So let us. And yeah, let's just put this one. I would say the first thing that I, I, I think it will be um, that we should support the write and read operation. Like support, write, and also we should support read operation. Oper operation. Operations, operations, and we'll say um, support write operations. I guess this is the only thing that we care about. Write, read, and write. We have read and write. This is the functional requirements. I would say that the non functional requirements, no. The non functional requirements will be as follow. Um, it will be um, high availability because this is the most important thing. High availability, availability, and I guess it will be uh, auto scaling because we talk about the we should be scaled and we have low latency and we talk about uh, handle large data it's also distributed system I should yeah I should put a question here is our system distributed should we uh, do we expect to our data to be distributed I guess it's a pretty straightforward I don't need to to ask this question because yeah this uh, distributed this this distributed system and I will say Tunable consistency because tunable tunable consistency tunable. I would say acceptable consistency acceptable consistency with M not not with N not with M. So I guess these are all of the functional requirements and the, the, the non-functional requirements of of um, of this specific uh, of this of, of this specific system i guess there is not more than that and um, i guess yeah that's it for today's and um, see you in future videos